Recording started. What is up, ballers? This is Snow. Welcome back to another video, and today um, I'll be showing you how to enable TalkBack on your Android device. Now, TalkBack is useful for those who are visually impaired, like like I am myself. Um, yeah. So basically, that's what you can do with TalkBack. You can basically navigate the screen. Um, yeah, so I mean, all in all, it's it's just a it's just a good a good thing to to have, and I like the fact that Android that Android has has implemented it's has 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 basically implemented um uh, what, what am I saying has basically integrated um Talkback into their operating system. Now, now it's 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 almost like Windows um, Narrator, which I'll tell you right now, sucks. Um, I'll do a demonstration on that, but it'll be a ghetto demonstration because I don't have a screen recorder on my brother's Windows phone, so I'll ha I'll have to do a demonstration. I could do it on the on the lit computer, but it's I mean it's 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 okay on on the computer. It's okay, but on the phone it sucks. Um, and with uh, iOS, um, I won't be able to do that either because I don't have a screen recorder on that. Um, yes, but, um, if, if, but, um, if you, I don't know, you might head over to the Tech Review channel, um, he might be doing, uh, he might be doing, um, an iOS version, um, I don't know yet, it, but it's, it's in the future, he might do an iOS review of voiceover, but for now, since I'm, so I'm all, per, so I'm, so it's basically, I'm, I'm almost everything Android and computer, we're doing the talkback, so, how to enable this? So what you can do is you're gonna go home. Oops. Home. Home. Apps. Showing home. item one of three. Apps. You're gonna go to apps. Apps. Video player. Settings. What are your settings? Settings. Wireless and networks. Now you're gonna scroll down. Location. Accessibility. You're gonna click accessibility. It'll be under system. Accessibility. All right. So, so basically, uh, you have four tabs. You have general, or you have like uh, you have tabs. You have general. You have device. You have uh, well, what else? Personal or something like that. Accounts and system. You you want to look under system. It'll say accessibility. Then under services. Services. Talk back. Talk back. Talk back. Switch. Check. Now you hit the switch. Alert. Now it says um, stop TalkBack for mine, but on yours, if you're enabling it for the first time, um, it might say it might have you download the app, which you, you go ahead and hit and click OK to download it. Or if you already have it installed, uh, which most which most phones already do, you, it'll it'll just say enable TalkBack. So you're gonna hit OK, cancel but for me I'm hit cancel talkback. since I don't want to disable it. <coughs> So now let's go to the settings. Let me show you the settings that, that we have here. Now, the first thing you have here is speech volume. Now you can change the speech volume up to to basically reduce the speech volume, increase the speech volume. But for me, I have it on match media volume. So basically, that, that's just your preference. Um, yeah, yeah, that's your preference if you want to change it or not. Use pitch changes. Um, this works. This works almost like identical to iOS to iOS's voiceover. So basically, when you're typing on the keyboard, like it'll be, for example, if you type the letter S, it'll be like S S. You know, like so. Say for example, if you're if you're 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 holding your finger on the on the letter S, it'll say S, and then when you lift your finger, or like it'll say in like either a higher pitch or a lower pitch. It just depends. Keyboard echo. Now, for keyboard keyboard echo, um, um, you could either Bluetooth a uh, QWERTY keyboard to this, um, which I don't want to do right now because I gotta type in a stupid code and I always get the code wrong and it takes me like forever to get it paired. So yeah, I might I might do a demonstration of that of how to pair a Bluetooth keyboard in the future. Um. <coughs> So yeah, so anyway, that's how that's how you would do that. But anyway, for keyboard echo, 
this basically tells you everything the keyboard is doing. So basically, like you drag your finger on the keyboard, it'll say like O, oh, like A, S, F, whatever, whatever the fact may be, like you know. So that's basically what keyboard echo is. And when you lift your finger, it'll it'll tell you it'll tell you what what key was just typed. So for example, if I wanted to put an A, I I, I drag my finger to the letter A and lift my finger, and it'll say A. Speak when screen is off. Um, this is another feature that I really don't, I really don't care for. So that's why I have an, that's, that's why I have it off. Because, say for example, if someone DMs you on Instagram or Twitter, or if, if or if if someone messages you like something personal, be like, <coughs> oh my God, you guys, sorry about that. Um, so like like say if if someone messaged you be like oh my god oh my god oh, I, I can't wait for you to come over tonight did it so we can do a lot of nasty things no you don't want no one hearing that so basically if you have this disabled it won't speak when your screen's off um yeah as with as with text messages though you got that's when you got to be careful because I've noticed on some on the phones that I've had um that the screen will actually come on and w once the screen's on talk back and basically say whatever it wants so you you just got to be careful with that i mean what i what i what i usually do is is like is i usually turn my volume down like whenever i'm in public like i turn my talk back volume like i turn my media volume down basically your media volume controls your talk back volume so basically i i just turn that down to like uh to, you know like like Enough where I can hear it, but enough where, but where people can't hear it. So yeah, that's what I'm basically saying. Use proximity, Use proximity sensor. sensor. So the proximity sensor basically is <coughs> is uh, is the sensor on top of your phone. Like when you're in a phone call, you put the phone to your ear, screen goes off. That's basically what that is. Um, now, um, you can basically. Disable this if if you don't want talk back like being like for example use pro then it stops no um be like oh my god how do I get this to stop so basically this that's how you do it you go into the settings use proximity sensor you uncheck that and then yeah and then it it won't shut up but for me since I'm like okay okay yeah I I, I know what to do I know what to do be like whoop swap my hand over the top of my phone it stops talk back that's what I like about it that's why I keep it checked. Shake to start continuous audio. Um, this I haven't really played around much because I don't read books on my phone. <laughs> it's just me. Um, I guess you shake your phone and then it starts to read. I don't know. Speak caller ID. Speak caller ID. Double tap to um, basically, you could basically have it speak your caller ID. Like if someone's calling you, for example, like it'll be, it'll be name at. And then it'll say the number if they're in your contacts. It'll be say their name, and then no, all right, no. If 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 they're in their contact, it'll say the name and the number. And then if they're not in your contact, it'll just say your number. Or if it's private, it'll say private. So basically, that's that's what it is like. And to actually hear talkback read out your caller ID, you have to have the the volume maxed out on your media volume, or you have to have your ringer all the way down, or somewhere in the middle, or I don't know. I mean, it's basically what I'm trying to say is talkback has to be louder than your ringtone volume. Or your ringtone volume has to be lower than talkback volume. I don't, yeah, you get it. Speak phonetic <coughs> letters. Speak phonetic letters. Um, basically, it's similar to what iOS does with its phonetic lettering. Um, so, for example, you have Alpha, Bravo, ABC, Charlie, D, Delta. Basically, you can set, you can turn this on, and it and it'll do that same thing. So, like for example, like if I were to go to A, it'll be like A Alpha, and then I lift my finger and I'll type A. So that's basically if you don't like it, untick this box. Speak usage hints. Speak usage hit usage hints. This basically is like oh, like for example, like you can do, like say if you go into the Play Store, you can be like it'll be a Play Store. Double tap to act to activate. Double tap and hold to long press. Yeah, I get it. So anyway, um, if you're new to TalkBack, um, and 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 you tend to forget things a lot, I would I would definitely keep this ticked. Other feedback. But yeah, all right. Now we're in the other feedback tab. Vibration. 
vibration feedback. Um, if you're worried about battery power, like battery percent, like power usage, I guess. Um, one thing is to not always have your vibrate your vibration on. I wasn't say vibrator. Mm. <laughs> um. So anyway, I would untick this box if you're worried about about uh ba- about battery usage. Personally, since this phone is basically used as an iPod almost, um, I'm not too concerned about it. But my other phone, I ha- I have the I have my talkback vibration off, but I just have my system vibration vibrate on. Sound feedback. Sound feedback. Now, basically, this plays an audible sound. Let me show you guys here. Vibration feedback checked. Sound feed. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Sound feedback check. check. Yeah, it's 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 almost it's it's just like um it's just like like a little din 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 din. I don't know. It's I mean it gets it gets annoying sometimes, but but I mean like I said, since this phone doesn't really get used for personal things like phone calls and all that, um. I just leave this on, leave this ticked, or, yeah, basically, yeah, but on my other phone, I have, I have the sound feedback off. Focus speech audio. Focus speech audio. Um, Focus speech audio. Decrease other audio volume while speaking. Alright, decrease other audio volume while speak while speaking. So basically, <clears throat> basically, um, this is not like iOS's voiceover where, where voiceover will actually lower the volume and speak. This, it stops the volume altogether. I mean, I don't like it, so that's why I have it unticked. Um, yeah, it's basically, like, if you, like, basically, like, say if you're watching a movie, and if you want to find, then find, I don't know, if you, say if you're watching a YouTube video, and if you want to find, you know, the play button, or the pause button, or rewind, or whatever, whatever it might not, or whatever it may be. <coughs> basically... <coughs> It will, like, when you swipe the screen, it'll basically, it's going to basically pause your video, and then it's going to resume it once once the speech has stopped. So, yeah. Sound volume. 50. Sound volume. Um, basically, the sound volume is, is controlled by the dinging. I don't play with this because I don't really care for it. So, I mean, yeah, so you could change the volume of the sound, of the sound feedback. It's up to you. I don't really care for it, so I just leave it at the default. Touch exploration. Now, one of the touch. Well, now this is the touch exploration tab. Explore by touch. Explore by touch. Um, a note. When you start talkback, it'll automatically it'll it'll ask you to enable explore by touch. You want to click enable or OK, because if this is off, um, and you touch the screen, it'll basically act like talkback is not enabled. And, but I mean, it'll still tell you. It'll still tell you what you're doing, but it it'll be useless. Talkback will be useless for a visually impaired person like myself. <coughs> uh, so basically, when this is enabled, um, you can basically explore that screen. You can drag your finger around the screen. You can basically, yeah, just double tap to activate things. <coughs> so that's that's basically what it is. Automatically scroll lists checked. Automatically scroll lists. Um, I would leave this checked because basically when you're in a list and and say you gotta scroll down to view the rest of the list. Like for example, if you're in your music and you want to scroll down and 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 you don't want to use two fingers to scroll down. Um, which which um in another video I'll get into the gestures on how to on how to properly gesture the screen to where you know you like it. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, um, yeah, you could basically uh, have it automatically scroll list, like, when you're swiping right, like, and then you're at the bottom of the list, like, like, it'll, it'll be, it'll give you, like, a little delay, and then it'll go to the next, the next item in, in the list, like, it'll, be, it'll basically automatically scroll down. That's cool. Single tap activation. Single tap Here. activation. Um, I haven't really played around with this feature much, uh, because I don't use it, because I'm used to the default. We double tap. Um, basically, like you can basically just like tap on an item and then lift, and then you just tap again, and then it'll, auto, it'll I guess it'll auto, it'll activate that item for you. Um, like I said, I don't I don't really know because I haven't played with this yet, but I'll play I'll mess around with it in the future, and I'll do a review on it.
Show context menu is list. Check. Show context menu is list. Um. Now I don't really know. I don't really play with this feature either because I don't use the context menu. I mean, I use it, but not that much. So I don't. So like I said, I'll I'll I'll, I'll do a little experiment with this, and I'll demonstrate, and I'll do a little review on it. Launch talkback tutorial. Launch talkback tutorial. Basically, um. <clears throat> When you first start TalkBack and you enable Explore by Touch, it'll be, it'll automatically launch this tutorial. This will basically basically get you familiar with all the with all of the features, the gestures, um, how to use TalkBack. It'll basically do all that all that good stuff. So yeah, so um, and and like if and like if you want to just review, you know, you can just go to the settings and TalkBack and then hit launch TalkBack tutorial and then it'll bring it up. Manage gestures. Manage gestures. You can now this you could you with the new topic update you can set custom gestures that you want. So for example, like if I were to swipe, I believe it's like right and down, it'll open my notification bar. But I don't I don't have I don't really have nothing set up for it on my on my other phone. I I do have something I do have custom gestures set up. But like I said, since, since this phone is not. It's not used. It's not used primarily. I really don't care about. I really don't care about it. So I'll just leave it out to default. Manage <laughs> custom labels. Should now you can label like so. Say for example, um, <coughs> <coughs> say for example, um, uh, you have a button and you want to label it. Like for example, ow. Uh, for example, um, like I'm in. So say for example. You're in an app, and you have, and it just says button, 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 button. What the heck is this? <clears throat> so anyway, um, you can label the, you can label it by opening the context menu, which I think is swiping left and up. I'm not too sure. And then you, and then, but you, but the focus has to be on that button. So basically, basically, you gotta find that button, and you gotta swipe right up. You like, like, you gotta basically do it. It's basically a backwards. L, I believe. You gotta go right and then up, and then it'll bring up the context menu, the little global menu, and then you can hit add custom label, and then you could you could basically label that button. So for ex for example, um, if you want that but if you wanted that button to say egg to I don't know say confirm, you can type it in as confirm, and then every t every time you go into that app, it'll be like confirm button, and then yeah, and then that's basically how. That's basically you can label your own buttons. Like you can custom custom your labels, I guess. Miscellaneous. Now the miscellaneous tab. Manage keyboard shortcuts. Manage keyboard shortcuts. This this only applies to to a Bluetooth QWERTY keyboard. <coughs> um, you can basically manage the keyboard shortcuts. Like you know, like you could be you could do like Alt. I don't know Alt N for notifications. I don't care. That's whatever you want to make it. But I'll get into that in another video. Talk back, suspend, and resume shortcut. Talk back, suspend, and resume shortcut. I love this feature because, all right, so, say for example, if if uh, if you're the owner of the phone, which I'm I'm pretty sure some of you are, um, and you basically want and you basically want to temporarily turn off talk back, but you don't want to turn it off from from the settings. Basically, what you're gonna do is when you take this box. It it'll basically allow you to hold both of your volume up and your, bo your both volume buttons. Watch me turn my volume up here. Come on. Dim screen when talking. All right. So, <clears throat> so when you're gonna hold your buttons too, and you're gonna be talk back suspended. See, talk back suspended. So now, so now, um, so now basically you could basically. So now the phone is is useful as it is without talkback. So basically, a sighted person can use it with no problem. <clears throat> um, but the thing you got now, I always suspend my talkback whenever I lock my screen because because like I I familiarize myself with the layout so like of my phone that way like I can like like I can unlock my phone without without having to use talkback. <clears throat> Um, yeah, so basically, um, if, this is another way, like, if you guys want, want that, that, want the excess, uh, extra, that extra privacy layer, you can just suspend your talkback, and then, like, and then once you get a notification, 
just just like like if your screen comes on or yeah just pull your phone out quickly enable talk back and then you can go from there um <clears throat> or you know if you get a text message you can go from there or if you're too late you know just tap your tap your screen button once hold the two volumes talk back enables and you can unlock your phone yeah so i'm gonna enable talk back now talk back resume see and then to resume it you you, you just hold the volume buttons again it's pretty cool Dim screen when talkback is enabled, not checked, checkbox. Dim screen when talkback is, is enabled. So basically, this is like Apple's screen curtain. Um, basically, it'll turn your screen off, but it's it's basically a level of privacy to where it's like, say, if someone's looking over your shoulder at your text messages or if someone's looking what you're doing, you can just whoop, check this box and no no one will be able to see. I, th I think I think the message is talk back has dimmed the screen. That's all that shows up on the screen. That's all. Dim screen shortcut. Now dim screen shortcut. Volume keys three times quickly to enable or disable screen dimming. Not check. Check box. Um, you can basically set a shortcut, which is push the volume buttons three times quickly. So one, two, three. But I'm not gonna do it. I just tap the phone. It's like, it's gonna be one like that. So basically, you can do that. Um, basically like. Say if if someone's like being nosy and looking at your screen, and you could just whoop, cut them out easily from seeing whatever you're doing. But I would recommend using headphones if if you're if you're that if you're that insecure about about your uh, your uh, your um, your screen being being public. Sorry about that, you guys. Someone called me. Um. Yeah. Resume from suspend. From resume from suspend. So basically, um, um, you can basically have it resume from suspend <coughs> from when the lock screen shown or from the notifications. So basically, when you suspend it, and then when the, with the when you lock your phone, and when you unlock, when you put, when you when you turn on your phone, like for the lock screen to come up, it'll basically un it'll basically unsuspend talk back. Oh my god. Hang on, you guys, let me turn my ringtone off. Yeah, so basically, the, um, uh, th th this is, is, um, this is another cool feature that I like about it. Open talk back at the Play Store. Open talk back at the Play Store. And that's basically self explanatory. It'll basically bring up the talk back. The talkback application in the Play Store. That way, you can view what it is, what's updated, um, if it needs to be updated, uninstall it. That's basically what it is. Developer view settings. reviews, developer settings. Let's go in here. This is the advanced settings of Talkback. Log output, level. Log output level. Don't know what that is. I wouldn't recommend playing with this because these these are developer settings only. Note that developer. You have to know what you're doing in order to play around with these settings. <laughs> display speech output. Display speech output. I've used this before, and basically what it what it does is it basically tell it basically shows you in print what Talkback is saying. It's, I think that's I don't it's I think that's useless in my opinion, but I don't know. Some of you might be good. I don't know. Enable no tree debugging. Not checked. I don't know what that is. So yeah, that's basically what all that's in here. So I'm gonna go back. <coughs> privacy policy. This j basically gives you the information of the privacy. I don't know. Terms of service gives you the terms of service. It's really self-explanatory. And that is about it. Um, stay tuned for the next video on how to on how to. Um, let me see on how to basically use the gestures on Talkback. Um, so yeah. So anyways, um, Recent app settings. um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment for our latest content. Um, and anyways, peace out.